Welcome to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. I'm Nye, that is Trance, and we currently have two spaceships in orbit. Nice. You know what? You know the funny thing is? That debris from Skypiercer 1 is in orbit too. That's funny. Okay, we are going to put a satellite in orbit. Which means Nye's going to get to use one of the unmanned ships this time. Those exist? Yeah. Since when? Click new. Is that what this is? No, click new. Oh, I did yes. New. Uh, the, the last five items are all unmanned vehicles. Or, no, that one's not unmanned. I'm yeah, I think, I think that's for a uh, landing craft. Mm -hmm. Let's see, unmanned, unmanned, unmanned. Okay, well, we're going to do one of these. Ooh, the Stay Putnik. Yeah, that. Okay, first and foremost, this is going up in the air and it's not coming back. Mm -hmm. As such, begin. Begin. <laughs> it's going up in the air and it's not coming back. Fair enough. That's wrong. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's. How am I gonna do this? Let's see. What um, I would suggest is uh, a breakaway after that. After converting that down. Ooh, structural containers. Interesting. What, you think this is going to be the only one? Well, what I was going to say is a breakaway from there. There you go. Oh, I see what you're doing. That won't merge. Yeah, I know. They have to be attached. It blows. If you're putting on four of those, you're a madman. And I love it. Four? You can't fit eight. Bet me. <laughs> You're a monster. <laughs> You're a horrible monster. Bet me. <laughs> okay, is there a large hard point at some point? And that is exactly what I was looking for. That that is a crime against things. Never tell me I can't do anything. Because I will find a way to prove you wrong. Do you have any way to detach the ball once it's in orbit? Not yet. Fair enough. This... This is a put things upper. I have yet to make something to put up. Okay. Part one. Done! Uh, that's, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> They'll remerge, theory. I hope. They I... will. They're they're not part of the main ship, so they won't be merged until they are. Okay. Okay. So we have our stay put, Nick. Stay put. Stay put. No. Sit. I can't let it go. <laughs> it won't go. Seriously. It, there it goes. Okay. Now I need control. Uh, no, I don't need control. I don't care about control. I need a decoupler. Structural. Decoupler. That's too big. Whoa, what I press? What? I, uh, no, 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 no. Apparently I'm killing this game. Yeah, apparently. Uh, let's see. 
What is this? What does this do? That's an adapter. Okay, cool. You Close, go away. Awesome. Separator? Mm -hmm. Is that a decoupler? Yes, it is. An explosive one, too. I probably don't want to put that on this. No, all decouplers are explosive. That's just too damn big. They're in the middle row. Last up. Oh, wait. There you go. That one? Yeah, that's one. There we go. Now, keep in mind, uh, satellites do use the ultra tiny. Okay, now. Utility. I need a battery. I need a large battery. Actually, uh, what I would suggest is not putting that on the decoupler. Not putting it on the actual satellite. What are you talking about? Well, you're not. You've got a decoupler there. I know, but I'm not talking about the decoupler. You can't things on top of the ball. Can you? Apparently. Though I... You can the side, sure, but why not just go for solar panels? Because you need a battery. The solar yeah. panels have to do something. Okay. Notice the pair of Duracells. There's some Duracells there. I see a uh, Batman. If you think I'm joking, I am not. Wow. Did you never see that? I never saw that. Uh, is that is that the right one? Is that the one I want? Those are uh, opening panels, which... Which is exactly what I want. Okay. But I want two of them. Because it's not a satellite. It doesn't have two. Excellent. Okay. And now we need it to do something. Hmm. I need it to do... You don't need it to do? Science! We're gonna put a single antenna right here. And I'm also gonna that put... That looks so wrong. We're also gonna put a... Uh, do, or, do, or do I want a communitron? I could put a communitron on there. No, I, I like that one. Okay, we're going to put an accelerometer on here, because. And probably a gravioli detector, too. And a thermometer. And a barometer, because there is weather in space. Sure. Warranty void if exposed to air. Okay, I also need... A ion electric propulsion system. How does how do you how, do, how does this work? Uh, you need xenon cartridges. So I'll just put this this here. Yep, that there. Good. You would uh, actually that's not right. That's not right. Yeah, uh, above the engine, you're going to want some xenon. It's not in there. It's actually with the engine. At least I think it is. Uh, second page. Chargeable battery. Last item. Okay. <laughs> yep, that'll do. No, I don't want that. I want the unfoldy kind. Okay. Okay, I feel good about this. This satellite is going into space. Okay, so let's put this way the hell up here. And let's grab onto that and attach that on the bottom. Yeah! Oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 no, 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 never mind. Okay, uh, this needs to go up here. What are these? These are... No, this needs to go... That needs to go down here, along with the rest of them. Uh, that is that decoupler. That is that engine, uh, which should be on a completely separate thing. And I don't think I need that. Okay. Am I ready to fire this thing? Have I mentioned this is going to space? Yes, you have. Okay. Save this thing. Is there anything that could go wrong? Yes. You know what? I'm going to be nice, and I'm not going to kill all the people down 
waiting below us. So, um... That's not gonna be enough. <laughs> Alright, sure. But, I... uh, you might want to check when they're set to deploy. I have no idea what this is, or... What is this attached to? What is that? <laughs> I don't know, but it won't allow me to drag it and drop it anywhere. This is going to be... Where are my engines? My <laughs> There's my engines! Yeah. You guys... Down here. I still have no idea what this is or where it belongs. So I'm gonna hope it's, it's not probably important. probably a uh, free-floating part. Oh, it's this. Yeah. I have no idea what this is or why I have it, but it's gonna go away. Okay. Engine for the satellite. Decoupler. Parachutes for the shit I don't care about. Decoupler. Engine. We're good. Save. Launch. So the question is, does this thing have the power to lift its own bulk off the launch pad. <laughs> I'm not so sure. We're gonna find out. This one's gonna have a really, really high orbit. Dran, see what I realized? That honey is delicious. I have no way to turn this thing in space to actually make it orbit. <laughs> And we're aborting. And that doesn't actually do anything, apparently. That button doesn't do a damn thing, apparently. And flight. Back to the vehicle assembly building. Trance, why didn't you tell me these things before I actually get to the launch because pad? Because it's funny. I mean, at least I didn't get into space and go, Okay, I can't send this anywhere. Okay, so this is how we're going to do this. This is going to go over here. I shouldn't be laughing this much at you, it's just... No, you shouldn't be. Your, your ship is going to look positively ludicrous, you know that. Right? It's going to work, damn it. That's a pretty big decoupling ring. That's not a decoupling ring. What the hell is that? An That's SAS. That's a heavy SAS, isn't it? Yep. There's a rule I follow, Trance. It's called there's no kill like overkill. <laughs> now, can I actually attach this? No, you can't. It's too wide. Yep, that's how I want to attach it. That's right. You have to use smaller ones. It's too big. You were saying? Or not. I could be wrong. Um, well then. Nope, 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 nope. There is no kill quite like overkill. If you left a greasy stain, you didn't have your blaster turned up high enough? Yep, pretty much. Okay, now this needs to go over here. And uh, that needs to go over there. That needs to go right there. That looks really big. Maybe not that. That can go away. How about one of those? Still big. Okay, well, you know. No, I want this right here. Okay, apparently I only want uh, four of those, I guess. Come on! <laughs> Your vessel is looking rather silly. Don't care, it's working! <laughs> Perhaps you should put those somewhere else? Anywhere else? There isn't anywhere else. Have you noticed that every square inch of this ball has been taken up by stuff? You don't have an SAS fuel receptor for it. I will eventually. Uh, 
there's a thing taking it up. You, you'll have to remove something. I'm sure I can well, find a place to put this. I, yep, there it is. Aha! Found spare spot. Okay, now wh where'd I put that? Over here? Okay. No, 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 I need more than that. Come on! You've got that, uh... That little blue thing there is taking up space. If you can move that, you'll be fine. What is that, anyway? I don't know. It was in the science panel, so I decided to use it. It's a fire extinguisher! I don't think that's what it is. Okay. You. You. Oh, come on. I know you're the part I'm looking for. There we go. Okay. No, I don't want eight of them. I only want four of them. There we go. Okay. That is Making a it happen. Silly looking item. Making it happen. This is a very silly vessel. And? I strongly recommend not launching. Not launching yet. Why not? You're gonna want some structural bars fastening that thing. What with the only thing holding it up being your spindle-like engine? I'm completely okay with this. We're firing. Alright. Yeah. That, yeah. We're, we're, we're yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I should have probably tilted these engines slightly to the left. Oh, well. It's an unmanned rocket. We don't care. Folks at home, quick, speak up if you think there's going to be a problem with firing an unmanned rocket that will probably fail. Nope, too late. Catastrophic environmental damage? This is a, this is a space uh, exploration sim trance. It has nothing to do with the environment. Fire! Wow, that was a sound! <laughs> you probably should have put on some fins. No! We don't need those! It is going to make it into space, and I don't care if it does wobble on the way up. There's no one in it to be bothered by the G-forces. Looks like it's going to overheat and explode. Yeah, I should probably turn on the engines a little bit. Which will probably help to fix the wobble. Big, pink, and wobbly. Classic. Everything seems to be holding together remarkably well. Increased simulation speed? No! <laughs> <laughs> we will not be doing that. Okay. Now the question is, is that enough rocket to achieve orbit? Yes. No. <laughs> Very much no. <laughs> much weight, not enough thrust. You needed another stage. No, I just need more rockets! If it doesn't then, make it, I have an idea! <laughs> there comes a point... Where, where this becomes awesome? Yes, I agree! Well, for launching a thousand rockets at once isn't the right way. I haven't reached that point yet, and I hope to God I never do. For example, having of this a more heavy booster stage, not the eight that you're using now, but you know, eight then a four. The eight won't get you quite as far, but it will get you to the atmosphere, which will then mean the four has a lot more power to it. Trans, I don't know if you've noticed that we're slowly increasing in uh, height. Yes, but you're rapidly decreasing in fuel. Not as fast as you'd think, actually. I say this actually looking at the fuel meter right now. It's okay, I have another engine. You had an ion engine. Yeah. As in, I am not working unless we're in space. 
I'm almost in space. No, seriously, I'm almost in space. Have you noticed the thing is slowly rotating? Nope. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah. Uh, you can use the Q and E keys once your SAS are on to give it a spin. Nah, there's no point. Quick, use the SAS to gain more thrust! By the way, I'm in light atmosphere. And still accelerating. Detach! Actually, my computer my computer's crashing a little bit. Uh... Not good. Not good! Fire the chutes and fire your secondary! I'm trying! It's not working! And thus now he realizes all the SAS fuel was left down there. No, it's not that. It's th this stage doesn't seem to want to go away. Hit the space bar! I am! They are detached. Oh, it's stuck in calculation mode. I don't know if that's it. I think it's because they're no longer attached, therefore I can't control them anymore. No, you can. It might be calculating. I hope not. That would be really bad. <laughs> the good news is this thing is still going quite quickly. And it is fully in space. Let's go into map mode and see what we're looking at. Uh, yeah, this thing is in space. And uh, in four minutes, it will reach the Apopiopia. Blah, 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 blah. And then I can maybe potentially move it. All right. Let's uh, throttle down the ship. I'm completely okay with these things never firing as long as they... C can I like, fire them manually just so I can get them off my screen? No. Does that not work like that? I don't care about this stage. Let me... Can I kill this stage? Can I abort the stage? I... Don't think so. I don't know what you did, but that stage is locked. Apparently. Well, we're gonna go ahead and speed up time here. There we go. Now I'll go back to normal. And go to normal view. Nope. It's still Click there. Stage. Click it. And hit the delete key. Well, that's uh, probably not good. It broke all of your stages. Yeah. Okay, hold on. <laughs> and thus we've learned why radial parachutes aren't worth it. They break the game. Apparently. Well, viewers, this... The problem is I can't even I can't even activate this engine by hand. Can I? Yeah, you can. Right click. It's flamed out. You roasted it. Apparently. Oh, you burnt well... your engine to a crisp. Oh, and apparently I can't even open anything. Can I? Can I? No power. It's supposed to have enough power to actually... It has a battery. Batteries don't come charged. Okay, how, how do I open up the, the panels then? You need power. <laughs> how do you get... There's a generator piece. Oh. Okay, so, off to the space center. <laughs> Let's just sort of look at this for a second. Yeah, they're very well aware that this is, uh... Yeah. And the other two out here are going, what the hell is wrong with them? <laughs> Satellite on suborbitable tra tra trajectory. Yep, we know that. Okay, well, let's go uh, fix that thing. The Sky Piercer is more of a satellite than the satellite is. <laughs> That's not really saying much, actually. The satellite I intended to be a satellite became a rocket. The rocket you intended to be a rocket became a satellite. Yay! We're good at things. Except your satellite didn't even become a rocket. It just... 
It became a intercontinental ballistic science device. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, where is the, uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Special battery propulsion system. Hold on, I I'm looking for. It's fucking many radial shoots. Step one, get rid of those. Okay, I'll just keep a few. No, you, you don't need them. But I want them. Yeah, but they have way too high a risk of that. Well, no, oh, no, 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 I want those. Crap. Put that back down. Now, I want that to go away. Okay, we're going to keep some shoots. One on each, I would say, at most. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, uh, so how do we fix the flame at portion, and where the hell is the generator? Uh, well, the flame out was because you activated that engine. Apparently. And it burnt out way too quickly. And the generator is, uh, next page of science, I believe. Actually, let's, let's make this easy. I need a spot on this that's not being currently occupied by other science. Shut up. I'd recommend uh, putting it under the SAS. Actually, you know what we can do? Science! Uh, I still think it's a good idea to put on a generator or two. I... Just because they're really handy. Where generator? Generator is where? Uh, docking, docking, utility? clamp. Utility? Where you are. Yeah, I am in utility. Are. Landing strut, landing strut, mobility, solar array, landing strut, parachute, 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 parachute. Rove axe, the wheel, wheel. Thermoelectric generator. Yep. Okay, I think I only need one of these. I would put it uh, above the xenon tanks, actually. Actually, that should stay there. You come here. You come here. Okay, this is Mark II, and hopefully this will actually become a satellite. And you know what? Because this thing isn't enough of a monster as it is. Steering devices! Woo! Okay, I want to... I, I, I would like to turn this. I would like to tilt it. I would like it to go at an angle. Uh, hold shift and type either Q or E. No, not that type of angle. Uh, A or D. While holding shift. You're rifling it, you monster! It seems like a good idea. It seems like a good idea at the time. Nope, not the other way. That would be stupid. This thing is going to fly straight. Not with them at different angles, it's not. There you go. That should be right. Okay. Don't blame me if this lands in your backyard. I apologize in advance. <laughs> okay. Hey, if we never did stupid things, we wouldn't learn nothing. I'm smart. Now I am good at brain. Yes, I am. Yes, I is. So we're going to gradually wait for the game to catch up to me, because apparently it hates me for making it do this much. And apparently I broke it. Oh, no, okay. The camera's just in a weird weird angle. Okay, throttle up. Oh, okay, apparently we're still waiting. That's cool. Do, 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 do. Okay, game, are we ready to fire? Are we ready to lunch? Yes, we are. Let's throttle up to say, let's say about half. Apparently half is good. Well, yeah, 
Uh, they're not gonna rifle on their own. Yes, they are. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, look at that. Generators start slow. I don't know if it's gonna make it go straight, though. It's... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. That looks ominous. That looks very ominous. The funny thing is, it was going straight last time. Wait, wait, wait. It's correcting. It's not correcting. It is correcting. It's not correcting. SAS! SAS! That's what was pro that's what, what was causing the problem, Trance. Okay, it seems to have corrected. Yeah. It apparently corrected at an angle. But now, apparently it took a little while for the rifling to catch hold. This... This is going to end... Amazingly! Yeah. You're not overheating now, so you can increase thrust. Well, I mean, I am kind of overheating. Yeah, you just don't want to catch fire. So I can, go, I can leave throttle just like this, and I should be fine. We're gradually get, gaining speed. Gradually. Well, let's see what the map has to say. It says, what the hell are you expecting? You just launched like 15 seconds ago. Yeah, it's like, what are you expecting? You just launched. I, um... I gotta say... There's both good stuff and bad stuff about the rifling. It seems to be massively killing your speed because yeah. of the so And that is worrisome. Yep. I should still make it to space, though. And this just looks really cool from this angle. It's actually the frame rate on my computer is actually dropping because of how much stuff it has to render right now. Okay. We are in the next atmospheric level. It's still accelerating. This is good news. We are getting slightly off course. That is not good news. And how is our uh, fuel doing? Not good. In fact, on a scale of one to not good, I think this gets a very not good o meter. Well, we're reaching. This is, uh, this is hosed. No, it is not hosed. Actually, if all the things that this is, hosed is definitely not the thing it is. I am getting to space this thing, and we are installing this in orbit. But, uh... The fins? Not worth it. Yeah. Okay, computer just kind of... Okay, that worked that time. Mm-hmm. Because it's not a billion parachutes that it has to work And because I didn't activate the parachutes yet. And that's almost majestic, seeing it tear away like that. Yeah. Everything's just sort of spinning out. These things are actually spinning in pairs. This thing is spinning out of control. Let's go ahead and uh, turn on SAS. Okay, are we ready to deploy the chutes? Deploy. Chutes have been deployed. No, wait, no. Chutes have been deployed. No, chutes are stuck. It's... Oh, okay. The chutes are actually broken. Yeah. They couldn't take the force. No, it keeps on shifting the chutes into the next uh, stage. The chute programming is broken. Let's see if you can fire your ion engine. 
cut the thrust first. Okay, cutting thrust. And okay, it's uh, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and take a look at the map. Wow, um, that's a significant difference. <laughs> yeah, once you lost all that excess mass. Okay, let's go ahead and get that thing up to the A point. You're gonna want to do it a lot sooner, a lot sooner, because the ion engine has no force to it. Yeah, I know, but I don't think this is actually gonna work, by the way. Neither do I, but you know, it's worth giving it the best shot. Well, it's got some thrust going. Uh, while we're out here, let's go ahead and. Uh... Extend panels. Because if we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Neat. Mazel tov, it's a satellite. Yeah. The panels will automatically turn to detect sunlight. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna probably break the communicator array while they do it. Look, clipping. Neat. Now, the question is, can you get that thing into a stable orbit? No. Not enough force from the ion? Oh, I'm not even looking, I'm just assuming. Well, let's see. Can I turn this on? Toggle. Yeah, it's detecting gravity. Neat. Toggle. <laughs> Value in vacuum. No, really. And, uh, do those need to be... Can I toggle those? No. Okay, uh, how are we doing? One minute and something seconds. Okay, uh, I need to... Gradually turn this thing. Uh, no, RCS go away. S A. Well, no, RCS on, but SAS go away. Wow, this thing maneuvers nicely. I think, yeah. Do, 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 do. Is that growing? Is it, better question, is it growing noticeably? That's what she said? Uh, and the answer is no. Like, it's growing by, like, 15 meters Iron a second. Ion engines are meant for space deployment. Yeah. So we need one more step in this. We need an actual rocket step to finish it off. Well, it was cute while it lasted. Now it's going to plow into some helpless third world country. Eventually. Hey, look at all that debris. I'm just littering the planet at this point. Somewhere there's an Indian Kerbal who is shedding a tear. God, there's debris everywhere. And it's a good thing this planet is so empty. I mean, the good news is I'm still moving rather fast. The bad news is it's not going to matter. In about 22 seconds, I'm going to hit the A point, and we're going to start falling again. Let's make that happen faster. Oh, right, I can't do it while throttled up. Well, let's watch this thing plummet. Here's the A point. And the A point has passed, and now we are falling. Actually, we started falling a. Did we start falling a while? I. Camera, I can't. I can't tell what I'm looking at. Oh yeah, we passed the A point a while ago. That was up here. We have been falling for a while. Okay, I understand. And the game went back to one uh, X speed because we were entering atmosphere. Well, here's like ten billion dollars well spent. 
<laughs> wow, I didn't even think they'd actually have that. Hmm? The wings burned off in the atmosphere. Oh, yeah. That poor rocket. Well, not a rocket anymore. I don't think it was a rocket at any point, actually. It was initially. What, does this thing hit terminal velocity? What the hell's going on? Yeah, probably. It's frantically trying to realign itself. Yeah. Well, this is going to be a crash. <sighs> Goodbye, noble warrior. We barely knew ye. At least you died. <laughs> that was a bit loud. Well, it did just crash at roughly the speed of crash, so... Yep. It, it, that's that's exact. Uh, yeah. Okay, well. That was interesting. <laughs> Later, viewers. Later.